So if there's two things I love, it's stuff and procrastination. This week's book deals with both. Welcome to another I'm So Tired. The greatest epics ever told. Frodo and, and, and the Fellowship of the Ring fighting against Sauron. And what the fuck, Saruman. They're all like named Sauron or Saruman or Sarlavar or Babylon or something or M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> Those huge epics, while amazing and great and, and exciting to read, in many ways are never as affecting as a tiny, very personal, intimate human story. If done right, a small, intimate tale about a person can in many ways be more epic than a giant tale of millions of orcs fighting in the Battle of Helm's Deep and all this other shit. Ah! This book we're talking about this week uh, is a, a tale of, many, of several different people, all real, and all extremely affecting and personal. The book is... It Chooses You by Miranda July. Miranda July is an L.A.-based filmmaker, artist, screenwriter, author. One of these multi-hyphenate women. Absolutely incredible. This book uh, is about her. It's a, it's a true story, a bunch of true stories. When it starts, Miranda is trying to write a screenplay. And she's procrastinating about it. And obviously, being a huge procrastinator myself... I immediately love this book. She's procrastinating, procrastinating, and not writing the script, and not writing the script. And here in Los Angeles, there's a thing called the Penny Saver. It's like a pamphlet of classified ads that you just get free with, like, the supermarket ads and that stuff. And it's people trying to sell stuff for very cheap. So Miranda is trying to, to do her best to not write this screenplay. And she starts to kind of become obsessed with the Penny Saver. And starts to become obsessed with these people who are all selling these things. Who are these people? Why are they selling these things? Why are they doing it in the penny saver? Craigslist exists. Like, the internet exists. And so she decides to take her procrastination one step further to hunt down some of these people and uh, ask them why they're selling their things and ask them the story behind these things they're selling. And it becomes absolutely fascinating and epic on an extremely personal scale and very meaningful. For instance, the very first one in this book is, it's Michael, and he's selling a large black leather jacket for $10 in Hollywood. So she goes to visit Michael, and she quickly finds out that Michael... Is, an old, is a man in his late 50s who is starting to transition from a man into a woman. That's why he's selling his leather jacket. Fascinating. And each one is extremely short. So this book kind of ends up being a collection of very true and very uh, tinily, not a word, extremely small tales uh, of human beings that become very meaningful and affecting and, and pretty epic. I, I love this book because I love Miranda's writing. It follows that line, which is so hard to do, of very funny and very heartfelt, and it really kind of disarms you and gets under your skin and then makes you think about your life and the things you own. And if it's me, I own way too many things. What I liked about this book also is it kind of makes the point that all things can have a story behind them. When I look around my apartment and I see the things I own, I don't just see these things. I don't just see like a weird mask. I do see a weird mask because I have a whole wall of masks because I'm basically a serial killer. When I look at that mask, I see a trip to Belize I took with my family. I remember uh, uh, floating in, in almost total darkness in a cave in an inner tube, uh, <laughs> bumping up against my sister and my dad. Uh, I remember swimming in a river and, and a, the smooth stones that were under our feet. And all of that just comes from this mask that hangs on my wall. And so... Really, the, the things that we choose to buy and we choose to have around us, these are actually, we're surrounding ourselves with stories and physical representations of our memories. And of course, memories are the things that make us and the things that really are most important when you get right down to it, because those are the things that no one can really ever take away. And also, I mean, any book that's born out of procrastination is an A-plus winner in my book. It chooses you, Miranda July. That's the book. Go pick it up. See you next week. I love stuff.